All right, let's talk about the new hitting engine and some of the quirks about it, how you can master it and uh, really get to a higher level, uh, maybe the way that you were last year. So first of all, um, if you haven't noticed already, they talked about it a little bit in some of the dev streams that the opposite, opposite field power has been decreased a little bit, which I think is good because um, a lot of people were saying if you're late, you're great last year, it was easier to hit the ball the other way than it was to pull the ball for power at least, which is just not the way that the physics of baseball works. So this year they've really uh, worked on it and I think it has balanced itself out to really mimic what's going on in real life with the physics. Um, so if you're trying to hit for power, trying to go opposite field consistently is not the way to do it anymore. Whereas last year that's really how, you, how you'd get all those home runs. This year you do have to pull the ball to hit home runs Although some bigger guys like, uh, you'll see Abreu coming up next. Um, those guys with big contact and power the other way, or big contact and power in general, can hit the ball a long way the other way. So let's see what happens here. Well, he pulled the ball, and that's pretty deep. And it's gone. So that was pretty much down the middle. Um, that's the same thing as always. Down the middle is you're going to be your best bet to hit the ball, unless you do it like that. Uh, down the middle is the best bet for hitting the ball um, to any part of the ballpark with power but there are a few things that you can do in addition to trying to hit the ball down the middle that can hit you get you a lot of power so first of all what you don't want to do is hit the other way if you got a, a normal middle power kind of guy the second thing you don't want to do is try to hit the ball that's coming at the bottom of the zone so this year it's, it's a lot harder, I think, to adjust on the fly. So if you're sitting down here and you get a f uh, fastball or any kind of ball down there, it is a little bit easier to hit, and you can probably hit it for a line drive. But if you're starting here or you're starting up here and the ball comes down here, like 90% of the time you're going to hit a ground ball, which I think is a little different from last year. You used to be able to adjust really quickly from here to here, and you could hit um, line drives, even home runs on those pitches. So you're right there. I thought I, I reacted really quickly on that one. I got it a little left of the PCI, but you can see the PCI didn't get far down enough, and the ball was right along the bottom of the zone, and uh, he uh, wasn't able to get good wood on it. It was just a ground ball, ground out. <clears throat> now, if it's low like that, you can still hit it pretty well. I'm just talking about the ones that are right at the bottom of the zone, or um, below the zone, even. Now, you see right there, I did go oppo, but this ball was over the outside part of the plate. And that high and away pitch is actually what I wanted to talk about next. High and away is a very hittable pitch this year. Um, it was as well last year, but um, with the with the oppo nerfs and everything, uh, this is actually still a pitch that you can hit pretty well. And the great thing about it is not only can you hit it the other way for power, but you can pull it for power. And I think that's a lot to do with the taller guys um, the taller guys and the guys with big po uh, big power, they can really take that high and away pitch and pull it for power. So that's going to be a key. If you're if you're a big time pull hitter, um, and you have trouble, you roll over a lot of balls. You can actually hit that high and away pitch for power, and that can be another pitch that you want to look into. Ooh, that was a little bit off the plate, but it was still hit pretty solid. Now that's one thing. Last year that might have been a line drive or a little bit even deeper. That would have been a double. Tilson doesn't have any power, but still. Uh, this year that's not going to get you much. So we talked about four things so far. We've got not as much opposite field power. Uh, don't swing at the bottom of the zone if you're trying to adjust to it. Boom, right there. If I had swung at that, it would have been a ground ball for sure. And um, you can actually hit the high and away pitch pretty well, both opposite field and pull uh, and pulling it. So the closer it is to the outside, like it's right along the line, high and away, you want to try to put that oppo. If it comes over the plate a little bit, there's a little bit of gap between the line and the ball, like right here somewhere. That's where you can pull it for a, a home run to left field with a right-handed batter. Um, uh, 
the fourth thing that we want to talk about is this low and inside pitch. And not just the low and inside pitch over the plate. Like last year, this low and inside pitch, especially fastballs, you could take the opposite way to the gap for whatever reason, hit it really hard, and hit line drives on that pitch, which I don't think is totally realistic. But this year, you can hit that low and inside pitch, but you can pull it. It's going to be really hard to uh, go opposite field with it. Um, but you can pull that in low and inside pitch, and you can hit for a lot of power, both from lefties and from righties. So uh, I've done that plenty of times in uh, BR, I think. Uh, one, of the, one of the notable guys for that was Steven Souza. Uh, he has good power, um, but he's like a silver card, so he's not exactly like the best of the best. But he can really get in there. Um, if you open up, you're ready to pull the ball. Um, he's able to do that really well. All right, so the last thing I want to talk about is swinging with a purpose. So I think it's been a little bit tougher to kind of cover everything in the plate, which on all-star difficulty like Battle Royale and uh, a lot of the tiers for ranked seasons, you used to be able to adjust to every pitch and hit it really hard, really well, wherever you wanted, uh, depending on your skill level, obviously. But this year, I feel like it's much harder to adjust on the fly. Um, and that's why, and, and that's that has a lot to do with the way that people pitch online. Um, if they're gonna throwing you a lot of breaking balls, a lot of uh, changeups for strikes, it's hard to try to like cover a changeup, cover fastball back and forth on different pitches. Um, it's gonna be a low uh, success rate for you if you're trying to adjust every single time. So what you want to do is try to swing with a purpose. So you want to have a plan before every pitch. I'm going to try to pull this ball, or I'm going to try to go the other way, try to hit up the middle, um, try to do some situational hitting. You have to have a purpose before every swing. Um, that kind of leads into a lot of plate discipline and stuff that I'll talk about in another video. But um, being able to do this is going to help you, like I said, those high and away pitches, those low and inside pitches, down the middle. Um, you got to be looking for something. Because when you're facing good pitchers, uh, such as Kershaw right here, you're going to have to concede something. Like, he's got a good curveball, a good fastball, a good changeup, good slider. Um, and obviously he's an elite pitcher. So if you're looking for all four of those pitches, you're going to lose. Um, and if you're swinging with a purpose, you're saying, okay, I'm going to look for this pitch right here, low and inside on this pitch, and I'm going to pull it. So if it's there, I'm going to rock it, and we'll see what happens. So I got the pitch. It was a changeup, I think. It kind of fooled me. Yeah, a changeup, and it was a little bit uh, more over the plate. <coughs> but when you're facing someone who's really making you work, uh, that's the kind of thing that, that you have to think about, um, and it's going to help you accelerate through the ranks. So just to recap once again, it's really hard to go opposite field, but you can do it, especially with someone like a Abreu. I'm going to try to go opposite field right here. Uh, not bad. It was up the middle. Hit it hard. Hit it a line drive. But So you don't want to go opposite field too much. Don't swing at the bottom of the zone. That's a big no-no this year. Um, you can, however, swing low and inside. So the low and outside pitch is going to be really tough. If you square it up perfectly, then good for you, but um, that's not something you want to adjust downwards to. Um, and then the high and away pitch, of course, you can go opposite field if it's right against, against this line, or you can pull it if it's a little bit more over the plate. And finally, swing with a purpose, and I'll get into that in another video, but make sure that you are you have a plan before swinging every pitch. Alright, so thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.